Well, here we go again. It's it's like Groundhog Day. Um, football lads and Tommy um, decide to um, take some peaceful um, action on the streets on Armistice Day to show their patriotism, show their solidarity with veterans. And straight away, there's the media frenzy and the media jumping up and down, accusing everybody of being far right, accusing people of being hooligans, accusing people of being thugs and so on and so forth. Let me just put everybody in the picture about what the football lads are and what Tommy Robinson is about. I've worked with the football lads in one form or other since 2017. From loads of different clubs, the, the leaders of the, of the FLA, the DFLA, the leaders of other football groups, people from different football um, clubs up and down the country. And the first thing is, the first thing is that has to be reiterated and, and we get sick of saying it. They are not far right. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, I've been to demonstrations, both Tommy demonstrations and football demonstrations. When the far right has shown up, the far right has been shown the door. There is a far right in this country. They're very small. They're very irrelevant. They have no power. They have no reach. And the vast majority of people in this country think exactly like the football lads think. They're patriotic. They love their country. They're worried about the direction the country's going in. They're worried about extremism. In fact, the new group that's been set up, I'm not sure whether it's an official group yet, but the, the brand name is Football Lads Against Extremism. Well, shouldn't that say it all? Shouldn't everybody be in this country be against extremism? So that's the football lads. And I've, I've stood with them it's, what is it, six years now, 2017 until 2023? Six years, we've stood together. And I can say I've seen the football lads prevent violence on numerous occasions. The veterans, when we used to demonstrate with them, we prevented violence on numerous occasions. Um, they are brave. They are um, honourable. They are honest. And they are extremely straight talking. And, you know, we've had many heated discussions about various different issues, but never about ideology and what we believe, because we all believe the same thing. We all believe and want a peaceful, prosperous, moderate United Kingdom where everybody feels safe, where everybody is respected and where there is no form of extremism or supremacy, bullying and intimidating different communities. And that's what the football lads have been about since I've walked with them. In fact, they weren't, if they weren't like that, I would not have any association with them whatsoever. If they were far right, and anybody who's listened to any of my videos and listened to any of my speeches know exactly what I think of the far right. You know, the, the anti-Semitic types, the ones, the ones that hate Jews, the ones that hate people because of the colour of the skin. That's what I call far right. You know, the kind of white supremacist types, particularly the anti-Semites. And I have not seen any of that in the the lads that I have I have walked with from all different clubs and I mean all different clubs from Chelsea through to Spurs through to Arsenal through to Middlesbrough Newcastle Sunderland you can you can just list them off Man United I've never seen any racism amongst these these lads when I've been out with them but they're very very concerned about the threat of Islamofascism and and what we're seeing on the streets now with Hamas terrorists basically running demonstrations and running organisations and radicalising young people in this country. Are they concerned about that? Yes. Are they concerned about the, 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 the direction the country's going in? Yes. And I'm not speaking for them. They'll speak for themselves. But what I am saying is, as an army veteran, I'm proud to stand with them. OK, so that's that's deals with the issue of, of football lads. And the way they've been slandered in the last 24 hours is absolutely outrageous. And the other thing is, I can guarantee you that those lads that are going down to the Cenotaph and to Whitehall and to, to, to that area of London are going there with one reason, one reason only, to basically take a stand, a, a respectful, quiet stand, a peaceful stand, a show of force, if you like, but it's peaceful to basically show people that the, the good British people, the good people of this country have not gone away and there is hope for the future of the country. 
and I could I could I could go on more. I mean, the the discussions I've had um, with with football lads about how we how we deal with the threat to the country down down through the last that the last years and and even recent months. You know, the the, the insight that they've got, um, they understand what's going on, and um, they will stand for this country because veterans and football lads are very similar. We're we're all fighting men. That's the truth. You know, if you're if you're in an infantry regiment, which I was in, you're a fighting man. If you're a, a football lad who, you know, had a bit of a past in the in in the eighties and nineties or whatever, you're a fighting man, and you're going to stand for your country. But it's been done in a way in the past six years. It's never been violent. There's never been mass violence at any of these demonstrations, and always, 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 the leadership of these groups have calmed things down. Okay, so that's that's that dealt with and a slander by the media okay now the next thing i want to want to think about is tommy I've known tommy exactly the same amount of time first met tommy in 2017 um he interviewed me when i was involved with veterans against terrorism um and i just realized this guy's for real he's he's not again he's not racist and i've been to demonstrations where tommy's been there and the far right, the genuine far right, I'm not even going to name the groups because I don't want to give them any publicity. The genuine far right have showed up. Tommy asked them to leave and they were physically removed from that demonstration by Tommy supporters. Because we don't like the far right. No, nobody likes the far right in our movement. Whether it's football ads, people who follow Tommy, pay, genuine patriots, nobody wants anything to do with them. And they're always shown the door. And always have been as long as I've been involved. And, and long may that be the case. And I, I believe it will be. Because I believe, again, that the real people are, are coming back onto the scene now. The genuine people who who love this country and, and, and want to, to deal with that. But on, on the subject of Tommy, again, he's been slandered. The media are putting reports, you know, that, that Tommy Robinson's calling um, for people to take to the streets. Calling for, for all sorts of stuff. If anyone watches his video that he actually put out on Twitter, he says... Over and over again, don't get drunk, be respectful, don't be violent. What we want to do is show a mass mobilisation. That's it. That's what he's saying. He's going there as a journalist. He's not. He's not even saying he's leading the demonstration. He says he wants a you know a quiet, calm, uh, peaceful, respectful demonstration. Um, there's not even going to be speakers at this demonstration. There's not. There's not going to be speeches. It's people gathering with the sole purpose of showing solidarity with the with the with the veterans um and also showing that we don't want anyone getting anywhere near the cenotaph and getting anywhere near um churchill statue etc etc so it's purely it's purely there to show people that we don't want violence on our streets we don't want fascists and terrorists and anti-semites stalking our capital city on Armistice Day, on a day when we, we celebrate the victories against fascism and communism. And what you've got, you've got Islamo-fascists and communists stalking the streets of London. That's what we've got at the minute. You've got the far left, the socialist workers types, Antifa types. You've got the, the Islamists. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, this is the incredible thing about this. Hamas, Hamas um, have just carried out the most dreadful slaughter of innocent men, women and children. I mean, I've seen the videos. Many of us have seen the videos, seen the pictures, seen the photographs, heard the reports, heard the heartbreaking stories from, from widows and, and grannies and, and, and children of the people that have been slaughtered in what is a pogrom. Um, that's what you used to call it in the, in the, in the, the 1800s when, when there was these terrible attacks on the Jewish community in Russia and Germany. And, and what we saw was a pogrom and if if they'd had the capability and the and the armaments they would have, they would have gone all the way to Jerusalem killing every single Jew they had in their sights that's the reality about what Hamas are about and yet and yet these demonstrations about Palestine these demonstrations these pro Palestine demonstrations are organized by men who are inextricably linked with Hamas um, one of them was reported to be a senior Hamas operative. Another one is a senior member of the Muslim Brotherhood. Remember, Hamas, Hamas is the Muslim Brotherhood in Palestine. That's that's what they claim to be, and that's what the Muslim Brotherhood say they are. So Hamas 
and the Muslim Brotherhood are inextricably linked. OK, so when we've got these people marching and, the, and there are many useful idiots are going out on these marches, but the men behind them. Are senior members of Hamas, their associates with Hamas, they're members of the Muslim Brotherhood. They're apologists for terrorists, they're apologists for Hamas. And by the very nature of what Hamas are, these marches are promoting hate and genocide. That is just a fact. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free is a chant in support of genocide. And yet, when the media covers the story, it's incredible. The media talks about terrorism, but they're talking about far-right terrorism. Nothing could be further from the truth. The people that are going out on those marches this weekend supporting Hamas are supporting a terrorist organization. The people that are going out with the football lads and with Tommy are supporting peace, prosperity and freedom. They're supporting the veterans. They're supporting democracy. They're supporting the democratic process. And they're showing true patriotism. And, and I think, I'm not sure, I could be wrong about this, but la last time I heard of any discussions, it was it was discussed whether we, whether any flags are brought and, and as far as I know, no flags are even going to be brought to that demonstration. Whereas the, um, the Hamas supporting demonstration will be walking down the road with Al-Qaeda flags, ISIS flags, Hamas flags, Palestinian flags, um, banners and, 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 placards calling for the destruction of Israel. And that's the difference. We love life. They love death. And that is the difference. And um, so anyway, I just I just have to I have to get that across. If there's anyone watching my channel that, that doesn't know my thoughts about um, who the football lads are, my respect for them and the fact that I will stand with them any day. And they have stood with me on many occasions and, and it's been very valuable to have them standing side by side with you when you're faced by obeying leftist or Muslim mob. It's good to have um, half a dozen football lads standing shoulder to shoulder with you, believe you me. Um, and I have always, always had the utmost respect for football lads. And I've always had the utmost respect and friendship for Tommy as well. And uh, I'm not going to shy away from, uh, from ever saying that. So that's... My take on it, yes, we've got football lads, we've got Tommy and Tommy supporters, we've got Patriots, we've got veterans, and then we've got Hamas terrorist supporting useful idiots and sinister, malevolent individuals that are playing a dreadful game with the British public, with the British Muslim community, and also, also, they're playing a very, very dangerous game on the streets of our capital city this weekend. And let's say, as Tommy said, as, as the football lads are saying, we are going there with one mission to protect veterans, protect the cenotaph, protect the monuments and take a stand and just send out a message. We're not going, nobody's going to fight on Armistice Day from our side. Nobody's going to go there looking for a tear up. But what we are going to do is put thousands and thousands of people on the streets to say, here we stand we can do no other. See you all on Saturday.